All right, guys, I'm doing a local SEO update on Movement Room. That's just like the local SEO update or so the local SEO case study that I've been doing. Um, yeah, we're going to go over how we're going to use AI content for local SEO. Um, this will just be more for like topical authority, but um, I think it'll be interesting to follow along regardless. Um, but yeah, let's, let's get on the creatine first. Here we go. Heaping scoop. All right, let's go. All right, so yesterday we did about $11,000. Um, that's up $1,000 from the day before. Amazon bounced back very nicely. Uh, Amazon at about $59.72. Media Vine at $36.87. FanFuel and Cell Health down slightly at 262 and OnlyFans at 1100. Um, yeah, pretty good day from Amazon. Let's take a look at what we're seeing on my end. All right, so Amazon, we got 110.6K ordered revenue yesterday. Um, clicks up 5,000, uh, pretty nuts. Not sure what happened there. Um, but earnings, obviously, we got. 110.6k we multiply that by 54 and that's how we get to the estimated um commissions and uh levanta quick levanta update if you guys want to sign up for levanta by the way um link in the description get 15 percent off something i don't know what it is uh yesterday we did 740 dollars in commissions so pretty freaking sick all right, guys, uh, before we get started, um, can you just comment local SEO for the YouTube algorithm? Really helps with the channel, with the growth, so on and so forth. But um, yeah, quick call out. Obviously, you guys already know I'm a huge fan of Koala. Um, if you guys want to sign up for Koala, give it a try. Uh, sign up via the link either in the description or in the show notes, which you can sign up via the first link in the description. Anyways, you can get 15% off Koala Lifetime subscription with the code indexy via um, either this link in my show notes or the link in the description or the link in the comment section um, they are I will note they are a bit more expensive so uh, make sure you have the budget to do it if not you could probably get away with just using chat GPT I'll be honest all right all right so just connect your WordPress site um, add WordPress username um, WordPress application password make make sure when you uh, create an application password that um, it's, this isn't your normal WordPress password, by the way, application password is slightly different. If you guys want me to show you how to do that, um, I probably won't because it's so stupid easy. Anyways, I'm going to go through, uh, we have a keyword research document already. Um, I added it in here. If you guys want to follow along, uh, I'm just going to go with the easier keywords. I'm going to target the what like question keywords, like what is, when, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I just chose like the first, I don't know, fucking five of them Threw that into Koala. Uh, I'll show you guys exactly what I did. So I copied it, went into Koala writer, click bulk mode and, you know, make sure you assign a project just, f just so you can, uh, it's cleaner to follow along. For example, if you go in here, you can click and then it'll separate it. All right. Um, anyways, I do use GPT 3.5, but if you, you know, if you're worried, you can try to use GPT-4 Turbo. Um, it uses more credits, but I, I think you can get away with just this. Anyways, you go into blog, select blog post, target keyword. I just paste in whatever. Oh, sorry. Okay. Here we go. Copy it. Paste it in. So each new row would be a new article. All right. And then uh, once you uh, add in your site, you can probably select it under integrated account. And what it will do is it will directly post it into your drafts on your WordPress account. All right. And uh, make sure you have internal linking selected. I don't, but I'll show you guys how to do it. There's also an AI image feature, which I selected. I went, I clicked image and I chose one. Uh, Article length default, you can just choose also of what, whatever you want. Tone of voice, SEO optimized. Um, language, make sure you choose your region. If you're not based in the US, change to Canada or UK or Australia, whatever your base country, Canada. Uh, I do third person. I select real time data as well. Uh, I deselect site sources because I don't want to link out. Include FAQ. And if you want to include key takeaway, you could do that as well. 
Um, let's see what it looks like. All right. Um, so let's do what is physiotherapy that has been generated already. Word count 3.5K. Images in Dece. Um, so let's get this posted on Movement Room. So I already pasted it in. Um, article looks fine. Uh, I added a category. So what, I, what I'm planning on doing is each of these, like physio, kinesiology, massage therapy, workplace injury, is going to be a different category, right? Um, so I added physio as one of them. Uh, let's download the image as well. Here we go. Where is the image? Here we go. And then let's upload it. All right, here we go. Done. Um, I will say this this article looks very long, but fuck it, whatever. Uh, what I'm going to do, make sure, is I'm going to link the first mention of physiotherapy to the, maybe not the homepage here. Um, maybe I'll link it to their service page. I hope this is helpful, by the way. If you guys don't think this is helpful, please let me know. All right. Um, Physiotherapy Vancouver. Let's link it to their service page. Here we go. Duh, duh, duh. Here we go. So let's interlink that shit. Easy fucking clap. And then uh, one thing I wanted to add at the very end, uh, probably not the best way to do it, but I'm going to do it anyways. I'm going to add an HD, custom HTML with the schema i don't know what this does probably does nothing but fuck it it's still gonna do it all right that's pretty much it i'm just gonna hit publish and um that's it uh let's take a look at what the post looks like all right all right all right interesting that the featured image is not showing oh okay here we go Set featured image, update it. See what it looks like now. All right, good enough. Um, probably changed my author to not me because I don't want the other people to find out this is me. Um, anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it. You go through the whole list after it's written and just post it manually. Uh, this is probably the best way to do it. Uh, if you want to edit it a bit, you could. But I think this article is good enough to get started with. Um, and yeah, that's my whole goal. So pretty much if, if I'm posting this whole list of physiotherapy keywords, I'm going to guess it's going to help us rank for physiotherapy keywords in Vancouver. Um, that's pretty much my whole hypothesis. Pretty, pretty simple, but um, I wanted to get it out of the way. And I'm guessing EAT will help it rank quite high for what is their physiotherapy. Um, but... Yeah, I'm going to hand off the rest of this using this video to my VAs and my team. And I'll keep you guys posted on how we do. All right, guys, if you guys have any questions on today's episode or any questions in general, uh, drop them in the comment section below. I spend every episode at least five minutes answering your questions from the previous episode. So, yeah, let's get going. Um, you say that you'll be posting the exact same articles across the main site and your rank and rent site. Not worried about duplicate content. Sorry, I, I, got, I think I got a lot of questions about that. Um, what I mean is targeting the same keywords, but obviously uh, contextually unique via Koala um, like this. So for example, I will use this, target the same keywords, but use Koala, run it like 10 times um, or four times. Hope that answers your question. Sorry about that for the confusion, guys. Uh, can you talk about Amazon product link building? Who do you contact if you want to buy top placement within a high ranking article about your niche. It seems like an obvious edge to direct traffic to one's product, but so little info online about link building for Amazon. More Amazon content in general would be fire. Thank you. Uh, who do you contact? If you want to buy the top placement within a high ranking article. Uh, so most, most people, uh, they have like affiliate managers and they do outreach. Um, I guess you're speaking from the Amazon perspective. So if you, if you want to get ranked on the thing, it's very hard actually. Um, not, and a lot of them won't even just blatantly ask for money. Uh, so this actually, there's no, there's no like good info out there because you just have to simply do a lot of outreach. 
Frank asks, what does RD stand for in your link service order form? Uh, it means referring domain. So now amount of domains pointing to the over, uh, overall domain. What legal pages and disclaimers are required for rank and rent slash lead gen sites to be legit? Uh, I'm not even sure. I'm, I'm, I just put on like privacy, um, terms of service, shit like that. Um, but we haven't built it out completely yet. Uh, we're still working on that. Maybe I'll do like tomorrow's episode on fixing up the rank and rents, but I'll keep you guys posted. Right. Uh, Michael says, if you stayed at number five, would you ever power up your Outlook India posts with any type of backlink to get it to top three? Since your rank and rent article lists three of your own domains, are you going to put any effort on those or just pumped out more rank and rent with new content pointing to those three sites? Um, yeah, I'm going to put a, uh, put an effort on those rank and rent sites. Uh, would I ever power up the Outlook India posts? Um, yeah, I did a video called Parasite, uh, link building for, Par- for Parasite SEO. Maybe uh, give that a watch on like how I... Uh, approach these things um i think the cliff notes is i i wait i will wait a long time for the outlook india post before i post anything like a long long time uh anyways dustin asks uh sent you a dm on twitter about this but no reply would you use outlook india oh sorry i don't um i don't respond uh questions on d uh twitter dms unfortunately because number one it's only helping one person so it's not like huge uh and it it requires a lot of effort right so these these are like the only times like youtube comments are the only times i answer questions Uh, i hope you understand um i got a ton of questions so it's not personal sorry dustin but um would you use outlook india to rank an e-com product page for example best beard oils in 2024 and list your product there uh yeah why not try it out um Outlook India isn't the greatest now, but still works on low competition niches. That's why I use it because it's so freaking cheap. Uh, but just keep that in mind. Rank and rent. Thank you guys. Thank you for the comments. Rank and rent for the algo. Would buying ads for three hundred dollars be better than three hundred dollars of Parasite SEO? Um, yeah, yeah. You could do both, honestly. Um, so I guess the argument you can make is is three hundred dollars worth. So let's let's take the best Vancouver realtor example that I rank for. If you guys want to check it out, go Google best Vancouver realtor. I rank number one using Outlook India. Um, best Vancouver realtor. I'm pretty sure cost per click would be like five dollars, and so that will get you roughly sixty clicks. Um, 60 clicks isn't that many. You probably run out in a couple of weeks. Will you get a conversion there? No. But with $300 for a Parasite SEO purchase, you have a chance of just getting stuck there for like months. You have a chance for, for you to just be there indefinitely, right? You don't have to pay rent. You just one one shot at ranking. And I think, uh, especially in the SEO side, in my opinion, I think that would be a better play. Um, I won't even mention like meta ads or Twitter ads because those probably won't convert as well because there's no intent. But yeah, I think a $300 Parasite SEO buy is better ROI. But um, feel free to steel man my uh, argument uh, open to discussions. I'm not like too attached to this. I could be wrong. Is it safe to have purely niche edits using your service or should we diversify the types of different types of links too for an affiliate site asks June. Um, yeah, you should always diversify in general, but, uh, yeah, I think guess having guest posts is nice. Um, definitely buy some citations. They're nice and cheap. Um, yeah, just build all of the links you can afford to, um, but not too aggressively. I uh, just got to keep in mind the anchors. Anyways, uh, out of time today, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, remember to comment local SEO. Sign up for Koala using the link so I get paid. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow.